Hi, welcome to children's art classes as well as for beginners. I'm Patricia Allingham Carlson and today we're continuing to work with charcoal. You know this is a large woman's face that I'm doing today and it's very important to work on the larger side when you're starting out with charcoal just until you get a real good fix on how it handles. Charcoal can be quite messy and hard to control but the more you practice the more control you'll get. I hope you learned something from this video. And now let's draw. Working with charcoal. Welcome to art classes for children and beginners. I have some charcoal here. I have an eraser. Actually, it's very dirty from charcoal. Let's get a slightly cleaner one. You know, by the way, you can take your eraser over to the sink you can wash it with soap and water, let it dry, and then it's nice and clean again. I found that out much later. I have a woman's face here I'm going to use as a reference. Reference doesn't mean you have to do everything the same. It's just to give you ideas. I'm going to draw a very large face on a piece of paper. And I'm going to start it with pencil. And the reason for that is because charcoal gets out of control very quickly. So I want to know what I'm doing with something that's a little easier to control and erase, like pencil. Do you remember that the eyes are halfway down in the face? So I'm going to take a good guess and say the eyes are about here and here, because I think that's close enough. I'm also going to make my reference line going down the middle of the face. And I'm doing it lightly so it can be erased later. Charcoal should be started out lightly. It gives you wonderful shading, but if you use it heavily to start, it's going to take over and you can't make a mistake easily with it. I'm going to start with the eyes. I want them about one eye apart, so I'm going to make them about this big. Many people in the beginning, when they start drawing faces, make eyes too big. We have beautiful eyes in our faces, but they are not huge. They're only about medium. Some people have larger eyes, and some people have smaller eyes. So keep practicing till your eyes look like somebody human could have them. Otherwise, you might make them look like an alien. But again, that's your choice if you want to draw an alien. These are about the same size. They're about one eye apart. In this case, maybe a little wider apart, but that's okay because some people do have a wider eye. I'm going to put on the lids and I am sketching lightly. As I sketch, I try not to rub where I've sketched because if I rub it, it will smear. And if you don't believe me, just look, take a look at how it smears. I can erase it though because it's pretty light. To make the nose, I'm going to make a mark here for the nose, and I'm going to make a mark here for where I want her mouth. Her mouth is open a little bit. That's going to be challenging. I don't have to make it open if I don't want to though, because I can change anything I want. Nose comes in and nose goes out. How much it goes in and how much it goes out will be up to the person you're looking at when you draw it, because some people have a thinner area here or a wider area and the same with their nose. I'm going to make the C's at the bottom of the nose. When I say C, I mean it looks like a letter C a little bit. That's where your nostrils are. And the nostril hole tucks into that letter C. Goes down a little bit below like that. I'm going to make that little palette marker to show me where her top lip is. Yeah. 
If you sketch lightly with your charcoal, you will have a lot of fun with this. This is a fun medium. If you sketch dark to start, you might end up feeling a little bit frustrated because it's pretty hard to erase. What's going to happen next is I'm going to do some shading with the charcoal by holding the charcoal sideways. Here's my shading. I'm going to start with this area around the side of the nose, the bridge of the nose, and under the eyebrow. I'm going to lightly shade the sides of the nose and under the nose, in the nostrils. It looks like a big mess right now, but once you start to blend it out, it will look better. I'm going to take a little shading under the lip. I'm going to color in the lip very, very lightly. I'm going to leave the bottom lip uncovered for now. I'm going to color in the iris. I'm going to make the top lash line look darker because I know I'm going to want that dark because there's a lot of eyelashes there and there are shadows there. Then I'm going to shade all around the sides of the face. I'm going to make my shading lighter when I come down to the chin and thinner. If you're making a woman and you make the shading too thick down around the chin, the woman could look like she has a beard. And if you don't want that, then you got to be a little more careful down in this area. Now I'm going to start doing some blending. I'm ignoring her whole hair area at the moment. I'm using my fingertips to gently rub out where I made the charcoal a little darker and shading. I'm not going to put my fingertip and the shading everywhere. I'm going to try to blend out the lines and leave some lighter areas. I'm using a different finger because that finger got too covered with charcoal. If your fingers are too dirty, you can wipe them off with a damp rag or paper towel. I'm going to color in my iris, and I'm going to put a little shading on the corners of the eye, where the eye curves inward. I'm going to shade around the ball of the nose, or the tip, or bulb, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to shade with my dirty finger right between the eyes where the nose curves into the face. I'm also going to take a dirty finger and put a little shading under the eye. Now I'm going to shade the sides of the face. And the reason for that shading is because our face is rounded and it goes in on the sides toward the sides of our head. Now that I've started shading, I could see areas where I want to put some more. So this is when you come back and add more charcoal. This is fun. I think you'll enjoy it too. You see, I'm putting on another light layer, not a heavy layer. Unless I'm really sure it should be dark, like the underneath the nose. And the iris, or excuse me, the pupils. So 
some lashes. And now I'm going to blend out these new areas where I just darkened. And I think I put too much right here. So I can erase it or I can add a little bit of color and transition it in better. I still don't like how that looks, so let's see if I can take some of that color off. I'm going to erase right down the middle of the nose and into her forehead. I'm going to shade more at the corners of her mouth, the bottom of her top lip, and shade a little bit more on her bottom lip too. And that could be her teeth showing. If I put a little darkness around them. Whoops. And she might be ready for some hair. I'm putting the lines on lightly, or excuse me, medium. And then I'm going to blend them with one sweeping couple touches here and there. Maybe a little darkness with the part of her hair. Maybe a little hair blowing. And with charcoal, you're always going to have more erasing to clean up the messes. when you're all done. But that's just part of the fun of it. Patience and taking your time. And you should have some fun with charcoal. Well, that's it for this lesson. I hope you had some fun and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Please give it a like and a thumbs up and subscribe in the links below so you don't miss any lessons coming up. There are also links to the places where I buy my supplies from, including most of my scholastic supplies from Blick.com. More links lead to my Facebook page and my blog on art and life. I'll see you next video.